CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 171 through 175. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 171. When assembling a workstation with dual advanced graphics cards and repurposing an existing ATX chassis, what type of power unit should a technician choose to best meet the energy demands of the system? The answer is C, a 1000 watt modular power supply. A 1000W modular power supply is the best choice for this scenario because high-end graphics cards, especially when using two, have significant power demands. A 1000W power supply provides ample power to support these graphics cards along with other components of the workstation. The modular design is also beneficial as it allows for better cable management and airflow within the ATX case which helps for maintaining optimal temperatures in a high-performance workstation. Question 172. A technician troubleshooting a laser printer finds that the bottom of documents are being cut off. It's observed that this issue occurs with documents formatted for 8.5 by 14-inch paper and originates from one specific tray. What should be the technician's next step in resolving this issue? The answer is A. Confirm the paper trays are set to the correct paper size. The most likely cause of the issue is a misconfiguration of the paper tray settings, where the tray may not be correctly adjusted to accommodate the specified paper size of 8.5 by 14 inches. If the tray is set for a different size, this could lead to the bottom of the documents being cut off. Verifying and adjusting the paper tray to match the correct paper size is a logical next step as it's a common source of such problems and is simpler and less invasive than replacing hardware components or changing default settings that might affect other print jobs. Question 173. An individual has recently assembled a workstation from components bought from an online marketplace. The computer starts up and can perform simple tasks like surfing the web. However, it powers off abruptly when attempting to play a 4K video or during gaming sessions. What is the most likely reason for the computer shutdown during these high-demand activities? The answer is B. Additional thermal paste is needed between the CPU and heat sink. The shutdown during high demand activities, like playing a 4K video or gaming, is most likely due to the CPU overheating. These activities are CPU intensive and would generate significant heat. If the thermal paste, which aids in heat transfer from the CPU to the heat sink, was not applied adequately during assembly, the CPU could overheat quickly, causing the system to shut down to prevent damage. Proper application of thermal paste is necessary for efficient cooling, especially under heavy load. Question 174. A support specialist was formally reprimanded after a network-wide service disruption. The interruption occurred because a software update was implemented without scheduling during active operational hours. What action could have most effectively helped the specialist avoid this mistake? The answer is A. Adhering to corporate policies and procedures. By adhering to corporate policies and procedures, you ensure that changes to the system, such as software updates, are done in a controlled manner to avoid disruptions. Following the corporate policies would likely have involved scheduled updates and proper approval processes, which would have prevented the unscheduled patch from being deployed at an inappropriate time. Question 175. A workstation has been relocated to a different area of a building where wired internet ports are not available. 
but internet access is available via an 802.11 AC network. To connect this workstation to the internet, what component must be installed in the workstation? The answer is a wireless NIC. A wireless NIC or network interface card is the correct component to install in the workstation for it to connect to an 802.11 AC wireless network. This is because a wireless NIC enables a workstation, which typically lacks built-in wireless capability, to connect to Wi-Fi networks. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.